Tiri ti ti ri ri ti. Tunggu saya jangan sampai. See if anyone comes on a minute. Hey, James, on anybody? Just got a little wander around the garden, mate. Is uh, all the tomatoes here eh? coming along nicely? Look, any beef tomatoes? Just to pull a load of these off. Right, here's the body snatchers. You see, loads of pods about, potted up nicely. And we got white ones in the background. Hey, Tony, all right? Pods everywhere on this body snatcher now. Two of them at the front. Superb. Over to you then. These are my ones that I thought had given up the ghost, but they're all doing well now. We got the uh, pepper cream. You can see his pods coming everywhere. Next to that, we got another pepper cream. And we got sugar rush stripey. Nice plant that is. Loads of pods coming on there now. And we got another sugar rush stripey. I think we got just got starting to get a tinge of colour on the bottom of this one down there. Bit of orange on him. Nice pods though. Loads coming through now. Superb. Here's Willow like what are you doing in my garden? Here we got the Manzano. You can see all these under there. They're everywhere on you now. Like apples. Superb. My favourite chili. Loads on you. Yeah? I think I got these mixed up. I thought this was the Manzano. But I think this is now the olive. Jem might be able to help on that. Looks more like a... Hey, James, right? Looks more like the olive. But this is loaded as well. I'll send you a box here, hopefully. I've got loads of pods. They're just taking an age to ripen. A lovely plant. Here's the uh, turbo pube. As you can see, there's pods everywhere on you. At least 60, 70, I reckon. There's one just starting to get a bit of hint of colour on down here, if you can see. But the entire plant is just loaded. But there. We've got it all tied up, the fence and everything. It's just been heavy, <laughs> pulling it over. Going here then. Into the two jungles. Here's an unknown super hot. I'm hoping it's a fatale. Something we see down here. Nice pods. Lots of them coming through now on you. Because there's no uh, label on there. I'm not sure mine could be anything. Right under here, see loads of pods under there. The Scotch bonnet. A couple just turning now. I got about 50 plants, I think. Here's the charapita. You can see all the little pods on here now. Next to this one, again. There's loads of pods coming through now. See them all near. This is the KHM F2. You see under there. They're all starting to come through nicely. 
this big plant by here Thai dragon and everywhere you look under there you can see all the pods hundreds of them that one there is a peach ghost Jay's peach ghost scorpion next to that one lovely plant this is a Jay's ghost scorpion cross uh, pink tiger just starting to get pods pushed through now you can see the flowers on it most of these I started in January yeah I did start a couple in December and there's no real benefit that I've seen they stalled more than anything the ones in December and the look it's another plant loaded with pods is the space chili massive these are huh? it's full you can see under there then we got the Turkish sweet pepper lovely for chopping in salads or into your kebabs getting loads of pods in there underneath you you can see under there another plant loaded which is a sunburine doing well then we got my bell peppers I'm gonna have to get some tips off stew because I can't get them to change colour so they, they look just gonna stay green then we got these two massive plants for you which are B&Q scotch bonnets now we don't think they are but they're nice pods the flowers are right for chinents uh, but they just don't look like bonnets some massive pods on there as you can see loaded everywhere just no right ones I'm going to delay mine a bit this 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 year Gem because I've seen no benefit in going in December I would probably start first or second week of January for me going off what I've had is a starkest eh? yeah they do look like Jamaican hot but they definitely got the flowers look chinense to me we'll see anyway nice pods anyway here's the other jungle in here though try my best to get in here this is my favourite plant, the B9 BPO. As you can see now, there's pods coming through everywhere, which I'm very happy about. Everywhere you look, it's just podding up. Yeah. Next to this one is the. I'll try and get underneath. It's easier. It's the first pod coming through on the Ewa F1. Oh yeah, we got a pink tiger. I got a de dehydrator. But I've had to put power out here because I've been wa warned no drying peppers in the kitchen again. So I've got a, I got a power point in here now. <laughs> Here's another one of my favourite plants, which is a Reaper Cross Clavo. It's lovely, the plant the pods that really dark purple then go green and then go to a nice red as you can see there's plenty of pods about on yeah right there let's squeeze in yeah in here this one by here is the fatali gourmet jigsaw loads of pods coming through on here now Uh, here we got the Yorkshire Bargast. I think there's the odd pod just starting to push through now on that one. Ferment the DMR at the back. This one then is a yellow scotch bonnet. 
loads of pods on here doing well more pushing through all the time next to that there's nothing much on this next one i don't think which is a death spiral stand up in here in a minute then we got we've seen definitely seen pods i don't think we see down in there but that's a peach maruga and there's loads of pods starting to come through on here too now if you look underneath trying to get in here guys this one is the 7 GPN another massive plant you can see his pods coming through everywhere on it so I'm looking like end of September before I get a good haul I reckon but I should get a few a couple just starting to turn look Try my best to get in here guys Here's the Yucatan Habanero And our little pods coming through on him Then we've got The white butt Just starting to push pods out Then there's the BBG Cross Naga Apricot as you can see guys, a bit of a squeeze getting in here. And then at the back, just just starting to push pods through as well, is a clockwork orange. So generally, a bit behind, but hopeful, I will get a few pods coming through. A few ripe ones, it's just going to be late. And here's my garlic and my onions, look. Right. Superb, guys. Whoever's going to Edible Elementals, I'll see you all tomorrow. Better go and pack my bags. <laughs> Always last minute, see? Have a good one, people. Bye.